Well, hello and good day, vinyl community. How are you all doing? It's Matt, and I'm back for another video. I'm back for one of my other uh, quickie videos, so to speak, where I speak off the cuff from my motor vehicle and uh, throw out my two cents about something. So, okay, what this one is about, as you can see from the title, is uh, I had just been reading some news reports today, uh, earlier today, about uh, Paul and his comments about the Let It Be film and uh, possibly all these multiple over 50 plus hours of additional footage that can be utilized to perhaps uh, piece together a newer or upgraded Let It Be film. I then just recently saw Joe Mean Mr. Mayo's video where he threw in his comments about it and his thoughts about it and I threw a comment his way as to my feelings on it. And you wanna know what my feelings are? Go for it, Apple. Please do it. Re-edit it. Go for it. That's my attitude. Uh, you might be saying, why am I being so uh, forceful about it? But I have to tell you, folks, I say go for it. Um, the original content notwithstanding, I totally, let me say right from the start, I totally agree with Joe when he said, let's not rewrite Beatles history. Let's not whitewash the let it be period and make it look like uh, you know uh, Sesame Street or something that it was happy wonderful times and everything was going perfect for the Beatles no it was not it was a time of uh, great sadness a time of a band breaking up right before our eyes on camera and I agree with him that that content should remain intact and it should be uh, it should be there at least that general message should be there that what that period was all about in their in their historic uh, run uh, however uh, the original film was a mess as far as a filmmaker goes now I'm no expert filmmaker okay I'm not Cecil B DeMille here or uh, you know whoever you want to say Martin Scorsese I, I don't know much about filmmaking but I could tell you as a consumer of films for many 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 decades that that film is a mess Okay, the sound editing, the visual editing, the, uh, I could go on and on, okay? It's a mess. Not the content. Please don't throw me some negative comments like, what do you mean it's a mess? That's a classic film. It is a classic film. I have it on my old original VHS tape uh, at home, which I'll, I've shown you in past videos. I have the original VHS, the last known official release of Let It Be. I have it. I watch it whenever I can, but I'm here to tell you that the the original cut of that film is not the greatest visual experience, if you get my drift. The content is great. Seeing the Beatles on film, making an album, recording is great. The music is great. The rooftop session, okay, the rooftop show, I should say, fantastic, okay? But it could be edited better. It should be cleaned up. It should be tightened up. Maybe add some additional footage. You can keep the original content as it is. There, what I mean is the original message from the film, the feel of the film can still be there, that the Beatles were breaking up, it wasn't the most happiest times, but you can still make it a better film. And I give you the example of Elvis. Elvis's estate did the greatest thing a few years ago when they took his, I believe it's 1970 or 70, 70 I believe, his concert film called That's the Way It Is. They took that film and they totally re-edited it. Totally, from top to bottom. And I don't know if you've ever seen both, the original That's the Way It Is and the new re-edit. The new re-edit of that film blows the original out of the water. You watch the new edit of, of That's the Way It Is and you sit there with your mouth hanging to the floor because the footage is so great, it's so wonderful, to see Elvis in all his glory in his peak and his prime, they did it right, okay? They, they, they just cut the film better, the sound is better, the picture is better, it's a better overall viewing experience. But what they did to keep everybody happy was when they released it on Blu-ray and DVD, they had the new original cut of the film as the primary disc, but then as a bonus disc, you got the original That's the Way It Is right there for you. So you got both. You had both in the package. Now, I don't see why Apple can't do the same thing. You know? 
re-edit the film, add some new stuff, make it stunning, make it, you know, awe-inspiring, but you can still keep the basic original message and content of the film there, but make it a better overall viewing experience for the fans. And you can still keep the original cut of Let It Be, all cleaned up with beautiful sound as it was, as a second piece in a package set that comes out afterwards, after perhaps a short-run theatrical um, run in the theaters. Uh, when it comes out on, on a DVD or Blu-ray package, you can have as a second disc the original Let It Be all cleaned up. So you'll get both. I'm serious. Check out That's The Way It Is on DVD or Blu-ray by Elvis or the Elvis Presley estate. They did it right. They did a great job. So um, that's my two cents on it. I say go for it. This needs this film, Let It Be, needs to be cleaned up. It needs to be re-edited. It needs to have new footage added to it to make it stunning and a little bit longer. Make it like a two-hour film of great stuff. You can still keep, you know, the the uh, the negative feelings here and there, but there's also a lot of joyous parts in the original Let It Be, and keep those in there. So let's have the good. Let's have the bad and the ugly. Let's have it all. Let's but let's have it in a in a very viewable and enjoyable. Uh, experience for everybody. So that's my two cents. Uh, see what you all think. I mean, I, I tend to, as I sit here, I'm agreeing with Joe in the sense that I don't think that the content or let's whitewash the Beatles' career and make it like Sesame Street and everything was wonderful. No, we shouldn't rewrite history, but we can clean up history a little bit and make it more fun to watch and more enjoyable. So that's my two cents. So I say, Apple, go for it. Re-edit make a new edition, add some footage, make it a two-hour film, but keep the original also intact and cleaned up, okay? So that's my thoughts on it, and uh, I say, uh, hey, we, we got some good times coming up, Beatle fans. Let's be honest. Egypt Station's out, Imagine's coming, the White Album's coming out. Who knows next year, maybe 2019, we'll see an Abbey Road deluxe package, and then hopefully by 2020, a beautiful, stunning new cut of Let It Be with a uh, deluxe Let It Be album package. Go for it. Let's go. Let's rock on. Hey! <laughs> See you later, folks. God bless. Bye-bye.